I had to squint twice. I thought I was looking at a ghost. <laughs> That's a boy. Sent him presents for his birthday and Christmas. Well, you're here now. You left him with us for three years. Hello, Will. This was your mom's favorite place in the world. Hello again, and welcome back to The Process. My name is Cassidy Linder, your host, and today we have Miss Ellen Perry joining us. Hi. Hi, thank you for joining us, Ellen. Thank you for being here. Ellen is a tremendous artist. She is not only a director, but also a writer and a producer of um, two documentaries and one featured film. Uh, we have Great Wall Across the Yangtze, your first documentary in 2000. Then we had The Fall of Fujimori, your second documentary in 2005, and your first feature, Will, in 2012. How did you first get drawn to directing? Well, I think that it's, um, you, know, you know, you talk about different types of, of people. Some people know what they want to do, and they're very precise mm -hmm. about it. And then other people aren't sure. And so they take time to sort of explore um, different avenues until they come to something that they, you know, know is fulfilling. For me, I'm of the former, so I think by hook or by crook, I knew that I was going to somehow... Um, create film. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't know, you know, as a young person, I didn't know it was directing per se. I mean, I didn't grow up in, in Hollywood and, you know, I just, I just um, really enjoyed um, the visual medium mm -hmm. in, 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 its, in, its, in its full uh, bloom, mm -hmm. you know, and, um, and I saw that through um, like Stanley Kubrick and, you know, in Spielberg um, and sort of just went from there. Nice. And so directing was first? Or did, did, were, you, were you writing your screenplays? I mean, how did, how did you decide to become, you know, a triple threat? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, fair enough. Um, you write it because it's because you're going to be making it mm -hmm. and when you're starting out nobody's giving you anything to do so True. you have to say okay well what do i want to make mm -hmm. and so you make that decision and then you put the story together and and of course you always want to direct it but then you have you have to actually get it made which means you're raising money which is where the producing thing comes in so throughout um the career it's been that i actually spend more time producing mm. Sure. Than, than anything else, but that's okay because at the end of the day, um, the satisfaction of getting something made and being something that you're proud of and hopefully people will like is it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what is, I mean, you, you kind of touched on it a bit just now about, you know, you, you write because you're directing, almost. Yeah. Right? So what is the process for for writing as opposed to directing? Um, writing is your time to dream. Mm. And I think you're able to pull from so many different uh, mediums and, and whether it's music or visuals or excerpts or just a moment in your own sort of day-to-day -day life and you're just building on that. And then there's a lot of dream time mm -hmm. with writing, whereas directing is incredibly precise. Mm -hmm. um, you're on a schedule, you've built up to this moment, you have a certain amount of money, everything has to happen within these confines mm -hmm. in order to actually succeed to the sure. next level. So it, though it's also equally creative because you find new things to expand and you and you and you're able to bring in a team which is so wonderful to have you know a director of photography and to have a composer and to have a production designer and then of course your talent you know your actors and everyone everyone and the 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 community of it is is terrific
his own mind, he is a patriot. In the minds of many in Peru, he is a scoundrel. There were rumors that there were Descron like activities that were beginning to take place. Yo creo que hay una noción de bien común que obliga a que los individuos renunciemos a alguna parte de nuestros derechos. Es mentira, es una injusticia, no hay ni una prueba contra mí, señores. Yo nunca he hecho nada. Primero, disolver temporalmente el Congreso de la República. Segundo, reorganizar totalmente el Poder Judicial. This is a group of people that were organized to commit crimes from power. The only one who is not in prison is Fujimori. Fujimori tiene 35-40% de apoyo. Y eso es a lo que le tienen miedo. Al regreso de Fujimori. What happens if you leave Japan? Are you arrested? Depends on which country. <laughs>